Hi and welcome back to a brand new video with Minis YouTube for three. And Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is out in just two weeks and we can't wait, at least I can't. And I'm pretty sure most of you can't too, because we got to know that uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is pretty much become the most pre-ordered game on the Nintendo Switch by far. So, which technically means it is really gonna be a good game. It seems like it's gonna be doing really well. And I'm happy about that. However, we there's still two weeks. So with that said, we have to go to the updates from this particular week. So without further ado, let's get this over. Let's start with Monday, where we have a character in the spotlight, and that was Robin from the Fire Emblem series. But his or her description says a fire that wields a eleven. 11 sword and 4 different tomes. Like, the, like in the original games, these weapons can only be used in a certain number of times, so keep a close eye on the battle, on the battle situation. Both the male and female versions of Robin are available. You can choose your favorite. Uh, personally, I don't know much about Fire Emblem, I have never been into it, but and I've played the game, these games and everything. I played Awakening a little bit. I played the demo, but I didn't like it. So anyway, um, the thing is, uh, Robin is not a character I use a lot. I tried him, uh, but he just, I don't know, he just didn't appeal to me as much as, for example, uh, Mark or Roy or even Lucina does. So, or even Ike for that matter. So for some reason I don't know. He he's well it's no character I like to use a lot. I don't know if that will change for ultimate. It's possible it can, uh, of course. Uh, but I think but every time I played him though, I pretty much stick to the female version. Uh, theoretically, so I don't know quite why, I just did. But many people seem to prefer the female version, so I guess that makes sense. So, yeah, I don't know if anything will change about me and playing him in Smash Ultimate. I don't know if there is anything special new to him. Uh, he, we know that he uses, uh, that Krom still shows up in the final Smash, even though Krom now is a playable character, and I was sure that the final Smash will change, but that is apparently not. Case. But that is alright, I guess. So, I guess you just have to wait and see if Robin will still be, or if he will be more likable for me this time. On Tuesday, we have another character in the uh, spotlight in the form of an assist trophy, and that is Gull from the Street Fighter series. Uh, his description says, Appearing from st the Street Fighter series, he crouches down and waits patiently. He de then delivers a flash kick to anybody who approaches. Don't get too close. Not a character I played a whole lot in the Street Fighter games. I usually uh, stick to... Well... Usually Ryu or Ken, I guess. Uh, or even Blanca for that matter, but... It's still... Or right enough, and they kind of represent what some of the players do, you, know, you kind of wait until and your opponent get closer before you attack. That's kind of interesting. And I don't know how... Uh, what else to say about this guy, he's alright, I guess. Uh, just not my favorite Street Fighter character, of course, but it's cool that Street Fighter finally has... Him for, uh, has a little more representative than just, you know, Ryu and this time Ken. On Wednesday, we have two updates. Yeah, two updates. And uh, one of them is a music, and the music is King Bowser. Uh, from... Uh, Super Mario Bros. 3... Hold on, let me check that. Yeah, from Super Mario Bros. 3. And... Uh, it was alright. I can't wait to actually be able to listen to it while, you know, while doing bowling, but it sounds okay, it's not that bad actually, I do like it. 
Uh, the arrangement this time is by uh, Koji Koji Kondo. Koji Kondo. So, so yeah, it is original itself. I don't know much about the guy, but Super Mario Bros. 3 is one of my, you know, most favorite Mario games of all time. And probably always gonna be that. However, the second update we got was a character in the spotlight, and that is Zelda. And her description says, You might recognize Zelda's look from The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. In battle, she uses magical moves to reflect and teleport. And for a final smash, she steals her opponents away in the Triforce of Wisdom. If an opponent has 100% damage or more, they will be instantly KO'd. And that can make this a real deadly final smash. I mean, it's kind of like that uh, uh, fire stuff from the wall and the roofs from that Kirby stage. If you hit that in with 100, you know, more than 100 percent damage or more, you instantly kill there as well. So it kind of reference to that stage, I guess, exactly. But it makes this uh, final smash. Dangerous, I guess you could say, if you're in a hundred percent damage or more. But it looks cool, though. It's a lot better than Light Arrows. I, of course, I like Light Arrows. She used to have a fight back before. It just looks a lot cooler uh, the, with the Tribe for Wisdom, I guess. So, and I'm not sure if there is anything new to her. There probably is, but I haven't noticed anything special yet. But she is, uh, uh yeah, she's alright character, I like Zelda, so another character I used a whole lot in Smash, but she's still a cool and really interesting character. On first day, we got another stage, not that technically, and this stage is Pac-Land, where the description says, This is an auto scrolling stage where the scene constantly changes. There is there are also a few hidden features from this original arcade version of Pac-Land, so try to find them. Yeah, I guess this stage had gotten some uh, little bit of a makeover since uh, Smash 4. Uh, for example, in Smash 4, Miss Pac-Man is nowhere to be seen, if I remember correctly, and she is uh, shown in this uh, stage during Ultimate. In Ultimate, so there's a new thing. Uh, of course. Of course, it looks better, of course. Uh, <laughs> Pac-Man is not one of my f favorite stages. I actually don't like this stage that much. Uh, I'm... Well, you know, Pac-Man's from the 3DS version is a lot better stage than this one. Due to the fact that it's actually more iconic than Pac-Man. It is a lot more iconic than Pac-Man, actually, and it's... Well, I don't know. Pac-Man is, is just a lot better, so it's... I don't know, sad to see it's gone, unless it comes back as DLC, I guess, but I guess there's always a possibility for that, but... But I have a little feeling why it was cut, though, because in the 3DS version, uh, you will get an outline around you, for example, in in uh, in your color, though, if you collected enough palette spots, or palette dots. Palette dots, yeah. So... And for others, and that will only happen for you. All this will not happen that far. So I have a feeling that's why, you know, it happened. It's not back for ultimate, but they could still have changed to make the outline uh, go brighter or something for the one that has activated it. I guess. I guess that could work. But anyway, uh, sad to see Pac-Man. The Pac-Man is gone, but Pac-Man is back. So. Well, it's still a alright stage, I guess. I just not a big fan of it. Then let's go to Friday, where we have another assist trophy in the spotlight, and that is Chef Kawasaki from the Kirby series, where the description says he grabs opponents using his long ladle and mixes them into a pot. The unlikely opponents will continue to take damage at the chap. Cooks up health recovery items. You can, uh, um, you can then use his food to recover your health. Just don't think about the recipe. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of interesting itself. 
Uh, this character is literally using Kirby's Power Smash from Brawl. Uh, I don't know which version I like more, uh, the one from Brawl or Smash 4. I think the one from Smash 4 is kind of, um, yeah, of course, it's more cinematic and it's still the same for Ultimate. Uh, but the one for for um, for Brawl was also really cool. But of course, it's cool to see that it's gonna be represented there in full for the assist trophy. I kind of like that, and the assist trophy looks cool too. I mean. There's a lot of cool details, and I just like, love it. Uh, we also had a little interview with Masahiro Sakura this week as well. Uh, of course, where he talks a little bit more about the spirits, about the Kurago plant. Uh, he talks about the Ultimate's characters and development choices and all that. Um, let's see if I don't forget anything here, but he... Um, yeah, he does say that there is uh, in, that they uh, sub substantially including more fires and stages than any other games in the series. And he also say that this time he works for the same company as the Smash Bros. Wii U and 3DS titles, and that makes it easier. For, I guess that made it a bit easier to bring over most characters and that kind of stuff because reasons I guess but I gonna not go too much into this it is but if you wanna uh, read the full article for yourself I'm gonna leave a link to it down in the description below as you can watch it there uh, or read through it there if you like to it is uh, quite long it seems like so it's kind of yeah it's uh, all right enough I guess so yeah, that is pretty much all the updates we have for this week. I don't think I forgot anything. Uh, if I did, feel free to let me know by posting down in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe to me and YouTube video for more on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in just two weeks is out, so I can't wait. This is gonna be long. This two weeks is gonna be long. And yeah, that's pretty much all we have to do with that, I guess. So, I want to thank you guys so very much for watching this video, and if you would like to uh, join my Discord, for example, there's a link to that in the description below, to my Discord server, and other stuff as well. So, feel free to check that out if you want to. I should mention it more often, but I don't. <laughs> anyway, uh, that is from all we have to do for this week, and... Uh, yeah, I just thank you guys so much for watching, and yes, Ministry 2 signing out.